from a static scene to a dynamic masterpiece. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to simulate a breathtaking huge waterfall in Blender. Alright, I cut to the chase. I have this cliff scene here. If you want to know how to make this, write it in the comments and I'll do a video. I also linked some assets I used in the description. First, we'll actually disable all the um, trees so that we can move more fluently in our viewport. But now I want to simulate a fancy waterfall right here. First, we need an object where the water is emitted from, an inflow object. I'm going to use an icosphere and place it where I want my water to start from. Scare that to fit my waterfall vision. Set the origin to the center of mass. And then in the physics tab, I'm going to add fluid dynamics. Make it a flow object and set the flow type to liquid. Uh, set this to inflow so that the water is continuously emitted from that object. We want the water to have an initial velocity in this direction so it runs down only in the front of the cliff. So I'm going to add some initial velocity to the x and y axis. Also the water should flow over and not through this cliff. So we'll give the cliff fluid dynamics and set the type to vector. Now the water sees the cliff as an obstacle and flows around it. Fluid simulations need something called a domain. This is the space the fluid physics are simulated in, because Blender needs to know where in the endless space of Blender your simulation is happening. Our domain is going to be a cube, and we'll scale it so that it barely covers our scene, but also that, you know, potential splashes don't hit the walls of the domain. Um, after that, we add fluid dynamics to it and set the domain type to liquid. To make the domain see-through again, go to the Object Properties and under Viewport Visibility, check Wireframe instead of Solid. Back in the Physics tab, we will change the resolution to the highest number your computer can handle. For me that was 180, but if you have a very strong CPU, um, you might want to crank this up because the higher that number, the better your waterfall is going to look. Then we are going to enable delete in obstacle, so that water that went into the cliff by accident just gets deleted. And we are going to disable all the collisions but the bottom collisions, so that the water doesn't collide with the walls of the domain. And if you want particles, you can enable particles. Um, although I would definitely recommend to decrease the wave crest particle sample number and the trapped air particle sample number significantly because your computer will crash otherwise um, because it's a lot of particles. I like to change the apres factor of the mesh to 4 it just looks a little bit more detailed that way. Choose a location where you want to save your cache files and set the cache type to all and you're ready to bake your simulation. And minutes to hours later you'll have something like this. You can't see the particles here because I hit them in order to stop my PC from crashing because that is way too many particles but uh, with the numbers I showed you in the beginning you should get way less particles. Let's surrender view and you will see... Oh no, the water has no material. Open the shader editor and create a new material for your waterfall. Name it water. Lower the roughness to almost zero, turn the transmission all the way up and voila, you have the simplest water material possible. Now, the only thing left to do is the particles. Add an icosphere for every particle system if you want different materials, or just use one as I did. Lower the subdivisions to one and choose our water material in the shader editor. But actually, click on this little icon to make it a separate material and increase the roughness a bit and decrease the transmission as well. In the Particles tab, select Render as Object and choose our Icosphere as the object. Experiment with the scale a bit and you're done with your waterfall. And I hope yours looks better than this one because I had to disable particles and render it with a lot of noise reduction because I didn't have much time. So hopefully yours will turn out much more detailed than this one did. 
Let me know if this was helpful, consider subscribing, and if you want, you can watch this video about three free Blender add-ons that save my anxiety on a daily basis. Bye!